Hey everyone, today I have a review of the Tabby Messenger 19 by Coach. And this bag is fresh off the runway, which is what it says on the website. I'm not making that up. So let's look, take a look at the tag. So it says, please note, this leather may feature natural variations in color, a sign of character, and is sensitive to water, light, and heat. This makes me kind of think this leather is really kind of sensitive to everything. So I'm not really quite sure what to think about that. But as you can see, it already has a couple of snicks and scratches, even though this bag is just brand new and taken out of the box. So it really is sensitive. Um, that may be something you want to take into consideration. Uh, it says this vegetable tanned leather on the bottom. The color is burnished amber and it's got silver hardware. Uh, let's take a look at the buckle detail here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's already got like this black line over on the sea. And that's also came that way. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not another like scratch right here but that could be just the way the leather is on this bag it's going to show imperfections and it some say it adds character so take it as you will it does come with the coach hang tag okay so let's take a look at this buckle now so there's a push lock buckle here that's how it opens Inside is microfiber, it's not suede. There's a snap pocket here, and it's got uh, the Coach brand on the side pocket. Bottom here, it also says Coach. So there's a little pocket here. Let's see if it can fit my card case. Oh, kind of can, so that's kind of nice. Snap it back in. Let's pull out some of the stuff in. So there's another snap pocket in here. Let's see if we can take a look. And it's got some cards. Okay, that's the opening. It's a small bag, so this measures, let me see if I can get the measurements here, measures seven inches in length this way, five and a quarter in height, and two, I would say it's probably like two and a half, it says two and a quarter, but I think it's wider than that, it, this is more like two and a half, maybe even three. All right, so I'm gonna, show what fits in this bag quickly. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro, then in here. I've got, this is my key case. Oops, chapstick. I don't wear lipstick. And my AirPod Pro case. And let's see if I can get my hair in here. Kind of. We have to reorganize there, that's a little bit better. And then I already have my card case in there. Let's see if I can get this to close. All right. So everything fits that I carry every day. That's like the bare minimum that I need to carry every day. And it fits, but it does feel heavy. So the strap is wide enough that I don't think it'll be too hard to carry on the shoulder. Like, I don't think it'll be too heavy, but if you're walking around all day and this is on your shoulder, it may get a little heavy. So just keep that in mind too. So even though this is small, it does carry a lot. So I'm, I'm impressed. The leather itself is very stiff. It's not super buttery soft that I, like I expected. I expected it to be really soft and buttery, but it's not. It's kind of stiff, but I think it'll wear in. There's also a back pocket here, so you can probably slip in some receipts and things like that. Strap is adjustable. It's got three, four, five, five holes. You can adjust to whatever length that you like. I have it on the shortest. 
because I'm very short, I'm only four feet 11. And when I wear the bag, it actually hits at a nice spot. So this is a smaller version of the tabby. There's also a bigger sized one. I went with the small because I'm petite. Um, I'll have some more photos on the blog to show you how it looks modeled on a petite frame. And I'll include that in the link in the description below. But let me know what you think of this bag. It's $450, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I wish the leather was a little bit more nice, nicer, but overall, it does hold a lot. Small, but mighty. All right, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, take care. See you next time.